Hello, uh, my name is Patrick Poon. Uh, I'm not a doctor or any medical specialist, but I'm a product designer for the past 40 years. Corona flu virus is affecting worldwide right now. It was in China, then Hong Kong is uh, affected, and now it's worldwide. So Italy, now Iran, and now I think in the USA is getting cases. About three weeks ago, I sent a message in Hong Kong that uh, we're reviewing the mask, and I would like to uh, do an English version and for you guys to uh, understand from the designer's viewpoint, uh, the possibility of reusing the mask is possible or not. Let's uh, review what's happening in the USA right now. It's the coronavirus. Even still, brick and mortar stores are struggling to keep up with demand. Companies like Home Depot, Rite Aid, Target, Lowe's, CVS, Walgreens all tell CNN they're working to expedite product to their stores. Home Depot is limiting 10 masks per customer and sites like Amazon shut down suppliers accused of price gouging. In Hong Kong, we have um, more first-hand information and um, and know more about the virus and the virus can be spread very, very easily. And the issue also is that um, many people got infected without knowing and it's a hidden uh, transmitter of the disease or uh, the virus. It is much better to have a reused mask to wear than nothing at all. There is always medical specialists and uh, doctors that claiming you cannot reuse the mask and I would say they are using the medical staff condition or the, the, uh, I, I suppose the uh, hospital environment um, which is critical not to reuse the mask but in general public uh, in a very normal uh, household or office environment, uh, the mask is more critical to prevent an infected person without knowing to infect others while speaking or eating or talking. I guess the shortage of the mask uh, has to be softened. And I would suggest a way to um, to do your own cleaning and reuse your own mask. Uh, from a designer standpoint, I'm trying to study the material and here are the three layers. Polypropylene material. Uh, we, we did find some source uh, material from a electronic microscope company who has done a study, uh, a test, and this is a cross-section exactly how you look from this cross-section. And this actually is an N95 uh, mask that the cover, the top and the bottom layer, and then the middle filter material. The middle filter material has two layers right now. And, and you can obviously look at how fine the fibers are layered. And that's how they trap the virus. And the virus almost like going into a maze and got trapped. This is the one single layer, which is similar to this. And the filter is here and then the top and bottom area. Uh, also, I would I can would like to show what the test that they have done. Basically, the test was done with this uh, mass being cut into four parts, one, two, three, four, and one is kept as the record, and then one is being cooked uh, in water for 10 minutes, one in a steam bath for 10 minutes, and actually one in uh, alcohol uh, bath for 10 minutes. And their finding uh, under microscope, which is two, 250 times, and which show nothing change, um, and they also have one that is 2,000 time magnific magnification and um, all four cannot see any damage to the fibers uh, or anything broken or damaged, uh, twisted or anything. So this is the original, this is the uh, water, uh, 
uh, hot water in 10 minutes and this is the steam and this is from alcohol. So the 2000 times really magnifying, there's no damage. This is the hot water one. So uh, from this aspect, um, I would like to propose um, a suggestion how you can sterilize with hot water and also clean with hand soap. From a designer standpoint uh, about the material of the mask, I cut open the mask and there is uh, typically a three layer. So this is uh, the non woven fabric on the top and bottom one with the uh, water repelling uh, texture. And this is the filter material. The filter material itself is like a paper thin, but is um, created by polypropylene well-blown plastic material fibers. So um, the process is actually quite similar to the household scrubber that you may use. Uh, the, uh, that uh, the material, the fiber size is a lot, a lot uh, finer on this application. So uh, let's try. This is quite stiff right now. And this is a uh, used mask that I just used and I always um, mark my name on it so that I know I'm reusing my own mask. So I put it in, I'll put that on together. This is right now pretty stiff and uh, use hot water. And from a medical specialist um, or dermatologist um, recommendation, the water temperature uh, needs to be 72 degrees Celsius and above. And if you and soak it for 10 minutes, any virus or germs or bacteria Will be killed. So a boiling pot of water would be uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So if you cool it down anywhere, I would suggest between uh, 75 to 100 degree temperature would be good. So soak it for 10 minutes, that will kill all the bacteria inside. And if you notice, this scrubber softens. The material actually did softens at a uh, um, 100 degree temperature and then it will regain, remain, uh, go back to the original state once it's uh, cooled down. So let's say I, my suggestion is to soak it for 10 minutes and take it out. Let's say this one, I will leave it on the side. And let's say this is uh, already soaked for 10 minutes. I would suggest an extra step because the the most critical part is the inside when you breathe the moisture will create dirt and fills out the holes so i would suggest to have hand soap to clean it off with a soft brush a toothbrush and that will clean off all the residues from your breathing moistures and you may scrub a little bit on the top side my understanding of polypropylene material is very strong is like the scrubber or the hinge on your uh, container this is also a polypropylene material and the hinge here is a typical polypropylene uh, string that you could do reuse it so many times so basically a little scrubbing a soft scrubbing by a soft brush will not affect the tech, uh, property and you clean it with the water and that's it i think you have clean off you basically uh sterilize with the hot water and then clean off with soap and you can just hang dry and the next day you can have almost a new mask to use. And this uh, mask that I used uh, yesterday and hang, hung dry, and uh, I always mark my name on this so that I can reuse. And this of, uh, this actually has been re, uh, washed uh, for at least five times or six times. So uh, I think, uh, I hope this will help um, so that during the shortage crisis, uh, you can 
have a mask to use. And I would highly recommend you try it out. I think uh, people has to realize the most part that needs cleaning is not the bacteria or germs or virus stuck on the mask because normally uh, for a normal person that's not working in the hospital or clinic environment, um, this is seldom that dirty except the inside. The inside where you breathe is the most uh, dirty part that you need cleaning. So the hot water bath sterilization that I'm suggesting is the simplest way and soak it in 10 minutes, but make sure you brush it with a hand soap to clean off the residues that from your moisture and that's the critical and uh, the material polypropylene material is pretty strong as you can see these are very strong especially when you have the top and bottom cover to cover up the uh, filter material so hopefully that would help you and oh, oh by the way this now is uh, kind of cool off and it's go back to his original state not soften so uh, basically, my viewpoint as a designer that knows about polypropylene material property uh, from that viewpoint, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, specialists and um, that talk, no, uh, you cannot reuse them. But in a critical shortage period, this is a better way to do it. Uh, one way to soften it and leave all the uh limited resources for the medical staff to use because they do need them and as a one-time use but for general public like you and me um at a health as in a general household the environment is pretty clean uh if just in case if you are in contact with an infected person that he may not or she may not know that she got infected her mask will not help Basically, the mask protects the mouth and the nose, but your eyes, your hair, your clothing will all cover with the same bacteria or virus as well. Unless you wear full protection gear with the protecting, protective clothing and solid mask, you will get infected. The mask will not protect you from direct contact.